Hi everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and this video is for ages 3 through 5. If you would like to participate in our activities today, you'll need a few things. First, you will need our worksheet, God's Kingdom Bookmarks. And you're going to need part one and also part two. There are two pages for that activity. And then you will need God's Kingdom journal page. You're also going to need some things to color with, crayons and colored pencils. You're going to need a pair of scissors and some tape or glue. And that is it for today. So pause the video, gather all those things, and we'll be right back with our story. All right. So this story is a parable, which means it was a short story that Jesus told his followers. And this parable is called God's Kingdom. God's Kingdom. 26. Here it is. God's kingdom, and it's from the book of Luke. Jesus asked, what is God's kingdom like? What can I compare God's kingdom to? God's kingdom is like a tiny mustard seed that someone planted in a garden. The mustard seed grew and grew and became a tree. It got so big that birds nested in its branches. Jesus continued, God's kingdom is like yeast that a woman hid in lots of flour. The yeast made all the flour grow into enough raised dough to feed many, many people. And here's a picture of a tree and a picture of some dough that they used to make bread. It's going to become bread. All right. Thank you for listening to my story. Our faith word for this month is include. And to include means to welcome all of God's children in God's love. We have talked about how God wants us to welcome and include everyone in God's community. God's community can also be called God's kingdom, which is what our story was about. In our story, we had a tiny little seed that grew into a big tree. What does it take for a tiny seed to grow into a big plant? Well, we know that plants need water and plants need sunlight in order to grow. So what do you think we need to do to help God's kingdom grow or God's community? Well, we can use our word include and we can include people in our community and we can always invite them into our community by being really kind to them and just welcoming them. All right. We heard in the Bible story today that God's kingdom can start small like a mustard seed, but it can grow into a huge tree. All seeds with love and care will grow into plants that are much bigger. All right, so our first activity today is going to be God's Kingdom Bookmarks. And remember, this has two parts to it, part one and part two. So what you're going to need to do is cut out the bookmarks. There's going to be three of them on page one and also on page two. Now, once you cut them out, you're going to decorate them, color them. And then you're going to paste them or tape them so that our Bible verse is on the back and our tree picture is on the front. All right, so go ahead, pause the video, and create your bookmark. All right, so again, our bookmark should have a picture of our tree on the front and a Bible verse on the back. Now, if you looked at the instructions, it also asks you to draw your own tree and mustard seed at the bottom, so you're welcome to do that. And there's also an option of punching out this hole and tying a bit of yarn to it. 
for your bookmark. Now, I didn't have any yarn with me, so I skipped that part. But if you have some yarn or ribbon or something at your house, um, then you can add that. Let's read the Bible verse together on the back. Jesus asked, what is God's kingdom like? To what can I compare it? It's like a mustard seed that someone took and planted in a garden. It grew and developed into a tree and the birds in the sky nested in its branches. Now you have three bookmarks, so maybe you can have one for yourself and share the other two with someone. Or maybe you can share all three of them with someone that you think should hear this story about God's kingdom. All right. The kingdom of God is any time and anywhere the followers of Jesus are doing God's work and living as God wants them to live. That means that God's kingdom is like a community, including everyone. Let's get out our other worksheet. That is our God's Kingdom journal page. And on this one, I would like you to draw a picture of your community. So that can be a picture of your neighborhood. It could be a picture of your school. It could even be a picture of your church. Just draw a picture of where you see people in your life, where you run into them. Um, and that is going to be a picture of your community and God's kingdom. So pause the video and we'll be right back. All right, I wanted to share my picture of my community with you. I drew a picture of a neighborhood because a neighborhood is a part of your community. It's a place where you live and it's a place where sometimes you see people. Maybe you're close with your neighbors. Or maybe not. Maybe your neighbors live kind of far away. Um, but again, a community is any place where you are in contact with other people on a regular basis. Make sure that you share the picture that you drew with someone in your household. Alrighty. It is about that time that we pray together. God, like a seed sprouting, we can grow your kingdom today. Amen. Amen. Please remember our word include for this week and use it when you see someone that needs to be included. And we will see you next time.